Your destination is on the right. Greetings and welcome to uh, the heart of El Sereno. Today I am uh, featuring homes with small square footage. Um, it comes after a conversation I had with a friend where we were talking about maximizing your space. So this home is new on the market. Today is Broker's Caravan and um, it's a, a two bedroom, one bath. 1124 square feet. So it's not the smallest I've seen, but it's, it's pretty small. Um, let's take a look and see how things are arranged and how 1124 square feet looks. All right. So I want you to see the view. This is a, a house that's up high off the street. Beautiful day to be able to really capture it all got some people inside. Here's the entry. I saved you guys that little walk. But here it is. Living room. Lots of windows. Very bright. Dining room. Very light furniture. Nothing big and bulky. Of course, this is staged, so perhaps you would need a little bit more. Maybe where that painting is is where you would put your TV or any of the other spaces. Beautiful windows. I love that little keyhole thing in the window there. See, I want you to notice that all of the furniture that's used in here is pretty lean. It's not big and bulky. It's not plush or anything, but it works. It works pretty well. This is your standard issue bedroom. Um, it looks like a king-sized bed, and there's still room for a ficus tree. Jojo Gomez. This is in El Sereno, Northeast LA, 90032. Here's a closet which is kind of unusual for this period. It's quite large. The thing that is noteworthy is that the owners have installed these, uh, this closet treatment where you can hang things, you can stack things, you can kind of modify it according to your needs. Who couldn't use that kind of organization in their closet as big or as small as it may be? Here's the bathroom. It's a good size, too. Nice condition. It smells really good. That candle is really doing its job. Nice tile. Faux fur rug. These wood floors are really quite remarkable, too. Here's the second bedroom, shown without furniture. And it's also a pretty good size. The closet, you can see how it's one of these old tiny ones with the uh, drawers underneath. Jojo Gomez, does that ring a bell? But they've installed these, uh, these uh, once again, organizers. And you can see some of them have these little hanging bars. Some of them don't. So some are for hanging clothes and stacking. Kind of maximizes your space. I want you guys to see the street. After all this rain, it's so nice and green and lush outside. It's really beautiful. Let's move on to the kitchen. Radiator. I think there's central heat in here though because it feels pretty good. Beautiful windows. Here's our hostess. And she has kindly provided Mortos goodies, which I will partake in after I leave you guys. Look at that view. Isn't that nice? That light. So for 1124 square feet, this is very nicely laid out. There's not a lot of wasted space. This is a sizable kitchen. Let me step back so you can really get the full effect. Lots of counter space, the refrigerator and stove and 
and the sink and that triangular magical configuration. Here we've got the, the laundry room, the hookups. And we're gonna take a look outside, not just to see the outside, but also because there's an additional little space. So this property, although the house is small, has a pretty good sized lot. There's not like backyard per se, well, yeah, it is backyard, but also kind of side yard. But there's this cute little patio back here. Lots of space to expand, to enjoy. And then down here, we have the little bonus space. Now, this bonus space is not permitted, but it is usable space that can uh, eventually be permitted, perhaps used for uh, short-term rental, Airbnb, anyone? Just a shower in here. This Access to all of the good stuff underneath. Crawl space. And then, um, not a huge garage, but if you're the smart car driving type, it could be a two car garage. All right, so that's it. Doesn't take long to see uh, an. Uh, two bedroom, one bath house. But I want to, I'm, I'm going to be looking at some other homes, see how they uh, utilize the small square footage. Ideally, I would love to see a place where the um, actual owners are living in it and maximizing, but we're going to be seeing some stage stuff. Anyway, uh, stay tuned. I will be back with our next location. Okay, bye.